you think a relationship heartbreak, a business heartbreak, or like a friendship heartbreak? Which one's the hardest? I'd say a friendship. I agree. Why is that? Because I feel like you always think that they're on your side. You guys are on the same page. Yeah. Like, And I feel like if you go into a relationship, there's always, there's two options. This is either going to work out or it's not. Yeah. And I don't know that I go into friendships that way. I also think good friends too are hard to come by, right? So if you lose a friend, yeah, as opposed to being in a relationship, you're like, oh, well. Plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish in the sea. You'll yeah. be okay. Friendships are also harder, here we go again, as you get older. Like romantic relationships, they evolve and they change and you're looking for something different. You know who you are. You know what you want. When you're growing up, you have friends, high school friendships, which are different than college friendships, which are different than your coworker friendships, which are different than your 30-year-old run-of-the-mill friendship. Totally. Right? But your friendships that you build now, like I have friends now that are my closest friends. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I've been friends with them my entire life. But I think you just have an understanding of what you want, where to draw those lines. And well, and just because you were friends in high school doesn't mean that you'd be friends as an adult because you're not the same person. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, I have, I even have like family members I was closer to as a kid, cousins and stuff that I'm like, then we grew up to be adults and I'm like, yeah, we're not the same as adults. Right. But as a kid, sure. It was fun. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. But I feel like you kind of set me up for my third because it's more of just like, oh, you know what you want. Or you know second. where. Oh, my second. Oh, geez, I can't count. Sorry. Math is not my strong suit. You know yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, my second. Uh, you know what you want. You know who you are. You know what you bring to the table. And I think that that's just like growing out of insecurities. I am not proud to say it out loud, but like I think back to in uh, within the last five years, like this is a new development, but like I would go on dates in the thick of a Tennessee freaking summer night, sweating my ass off, 100% humidity, 100 degrees, and I would wear jeans because I was insecure about the dimples on my ass or the dimples in the back of my legs. And you know what? So what if the back of my legs look like they have hail damage? If he is not into that, he is not an ass man. And if he is not an ass man, then he is not going to work for me. Amen. Why? Why? Why would Let's I go. wait? Why would I waste in time? In the thick of it. In Three the C's. thick of it. Three C's, baby. Three C's, three dimples. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't know. There's so hey, many bring times. bring ass dimples back. They never left. <laughs> I've just been hiding them. They've been here the whole time, damn it. But I just remember thinking like, like that's just like an insecurity. I'm like, oh, he's going to think that's disgusting. Now that I'm an adult and I've met plenty of men that are just like, no, it's good. Like, we're fine. It's yeah, why did you even, go. why did that even cross your mind? And I'm like, buddy, I don't know where it started. I have no idea. And I think back, if I could slap 26-year-old Sammy across the face for wearing jeans, 100 degrees outside, what? Don't girls still, I mean, like, I feel like jeans is still like the go-to move even in Nashville in sure. the heat of the summer. Okay. Right? If it's a fashion choice, yeah, I'm with it all day. Mine was not a fashion choice. Yeah, Mine was a just, crutch. Okay. Because you can't see them dimples through the jeans. Can you see them through shorts? What do you mean see them through shorts? My legs are showing. Okay. Like, okay, ass dimples go down. Like, you know, if if you didn't pay for it and you got the factory model, there's a lot of dim dimples, you know what I mean? Dimps. Yeah, a lot of yeah. dimps going on. All it right. doesn't just like, you know, the reason someone like the Kardashians have no dimples is because they paid for it and it came from other parts of their body. Yeah. When it's au natural, ass so fat and the thighs do match. Hey, you if, know what I mean? If there's one thing we know about this podcast, we're pro ass dimples. <laughs>